Hello again everyone, welcome to our channel. In the last lesson, we learned the journal entries, which is the first step in recording the business transactions in the accounting books. Today, we will learn the second step in the recording process, which is the ledger. Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Well, how the ledger helps in the recording process? The ledger shows the balance in each of the accounts. Moreover, it keeps track of the changes in these balances. The general ledger is the basic form of the ledger, and it contains all the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity accounts. This figure shows a typical form of the ledger, using hypothetical data from a cash account. This format is called the three column form of account. Here we have the date. Here we have an explanation of the transaction. Here we have the references which identify the specific location in the journal, like a page number or line number, where a transaction was recorded. Then we have the debit, the credit, the balance, and finally, the code of the account in the company chart of accounts. Transferring journal entries to the ledger accounts are called posting. Posting is performed in chronological order. This means that the company should post all the debits and the credits of one journal entry before proceeding to the next journal entry. Now, let's see how the posting process works. Here we have the journal entry of a transaction where the company owner invested 20,000 US dollar in his company. Accordingly, we have an increase in cash by 20,000 US dollar and an increase in owner's capital by the same amount. Here we have the ledger for the account cash. And here we have the ledger for the, for the account owner's capital. Okay, let's see how we did the posting. Let's start with the cash account. Here we enter the date shown in the ledger. Here we enter the journal page. Here we enter the debit amount. And here we add the account number and write it in the reference column of the journal. We do the same exactly with the owner's capital account. We enter the date shown in the journal, the journal page, the credit amount, and then we enter the account number in the journal reference column. Now, let's move to more comprehensive examples, where we will analyze the transaction, determine its effect on the accounting equation, and whether to make debit or credit. Then we will prepare the journal entry and then do the posting for each transaction using the T-account form. Finally, after we finish all examples, we will prepare the journal, the general journal and the general ledger. Okay, let's go. In example one, the owner of Peace Scheme Company invested 20,000 US dollar in his business. So, we have an increase in cash by 20,000 US dollar and an increase in owner's capital by the same amount. We have plus 20,000 US dollar on both sides of the accounting equation. Our journal entry will be like this. We can see the date, account name, a short explanation of the transaction, account number, debit cash, and the credit owner's capital. Finally, we do the posting using the T-account, where we can see the date and the amount on the debit side for cash, and the date and the amount on the credit side for owner's capital. In example 2, B Scheme Company purchased computer equipment for 10,000 US dollar. The amount was not paid in cash, it's on credit. 
so we have an increase in equipment by 10,000 US dollar and an increase in account payable by the same amount we have plus 10,000 US dollar on both sides of the accounting equation our journal entry will be like this we can see the date account name a short explanation of the transaction account number debit equipment and the credit account payable finally we do the posting using the T account where we can see the date and amount on the debit side for equipment and the date and the amount on the credit side for account payable in example 3 this scheme company received an amount of 1000 US dollar from a client on the 3rd of June the amount is against a consultancy service that has not been completed yet it will be completed by November so we have an increase in cash by 1000 US dollar and an increase in unearned service revenue by the same amount we have plus 1000 US dollar on both sides of the accounting equation our journal entry will be like this we can see the date account name a short explanation of the transaction account number debit cash and the credit unearned service revenue finally we do the posting using the T account where we can see the date and amount on the debit side for cash in addition to the amount of 20,000 US dollar from example 1 and we have the date and amount on the credit side for unearned service revenue in example 4 P scheme company paid an amount of 500 US dollar for office rent the amount was paid in cash so we have a decrease in cash by 500 US dollar and an increase in rent expense by the same amount we have negative 500 on both sides of the accounting equation our journal entry will be like this we can see the date account name a short explanation of the transaction account number debit rent expense and the credit cash finally we do the posting using the T account where we can see the date and the amount on the debit side for rent expense and the date and the amount on the credit side for cash in addition to the amount of 20,000 US dollar and 1,000 US dollar from example 1 and 3 in example 5 this scheme company hired a financial director on the 3rd of June the financial di director will start his job at the beginning of July he will receive a monthly salary of 2,500 US dollar so what is the appropriate accounting entry for this transaction the answer is there will be no accounting entries because no business transactions happened it is just an agreement between the company and the financial director to enter into a business transaction that begins on the 1st of July in example 6 the owner withdrew 1000 US dollar in cash for his personal use so we have a decrease in cash by 1000 US dollar and an increase in owners drawing by the same amount we have minus 1000 on both sides of the accounting equation our journal entry will be like this where we can see the date account name a short explanation of the transaction account number debit owners drawing and credit cash finally we do the posting using the T account where we can see the date and the amount on the debit side for the owners drawing and the date and amount on the credit side for cash in addition to the amount of 20,000 US dollar 
1,000 $1, US dollar, 500 US dollar from example 1, 3, and 4. In example 7, this scheme company paid salaries of 5,000 US dollar for June on the 25th of the same month. So we have decrease in cash by 5,000 US dollar and an increase in salaries and wages expenses by the same amount. We have minus 5,000 on both sides of the accounting equation. Our journal entry will be like this, where we can see the date, account name, a short explanation of the transaction, account number, debit salaries and wages expenses, and credit cash. Finally, we do the posting using the T-account, where we can see the date and the amount on the debit side for salaries and wages expenses, and the date and the amount on the credit side for cash, in addition to the amount of 20,000 US dollar, 1,000 US dollar, 500 US dollar, 1,000 US dollar from example 1, 3, 4, and 6. In the last example, example 8, the company received an amount of 4,000 US dollar for consultancy service that was performed in June. So we have an increase in cash by 4,000 US dollar and an increase in service revenue by the same amount. We have plus 4,000 on both, south, both sides of the accounting equation. Our journal entry will be like this, where we can see the date, account name, a short explanation of the transaction, account number, debit cash, and the credit service revenue. Finally, we do the posting using the T-account, where we can see the date and amount on the debit side for cash of 4,000 US dollar, in addition to the amount of 20,000 US dollar, 1,000 US dollar, 500 US dollar, 1,000 US dollar, and 5,000 US dollar from example 1, 3, 4, 6, and 7. And we have the date and amount on the credit side for service revenue. This is the general journal for B scheme company for June 2022. To recall, the general journal is the book that the company firstly record, records all of the daily financial transactions in it. It is also called a book of original entry. This is the general ledger for cash, equipment, account payable, and owner's capital. The balance in each account is in red. This is the general journal for owners drawing, unearned service revenue, service revenue, rent expense, and salaries and wages expenses. The balance is in each account is in red. Like what we do in all our lessons, please take a short break and come back to solve this example. Please write your answers in the comment of this video and feel free to ask me any questions in the comment and I will reply as soon as possible. Good luck! That's all for today. Congratulations on finishing this important lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next lesson. Bye bye.